my daughter spotted this and started saying to me, Dad, you know, Jan, when we were together, Jan just kind of keeps asking the same questions. And let me give you a real denial. When they said that, I said, you know, I think it's like the front. It's like the high pressure or something that's affecting her ears and, you know, she's really fine and stuff like that, which tells you the depths to which denial can take you. And denial is common for those dealing with a loved one with the beginnings of a very serious illness. I did what most people who deal with a disease like this do. You deny it, you don't see it, you pretend it's not there. Once the Petersons accepted the reality of Alzheimer's, Jan started to receive treatment to help monitor the disease's progression. There, was, there are medications that will help with the symptoms. There's nothing that will stop Alzheimer's. So help with the symptoms, it arcs, you know, it, it helps for a while, it helps for a while, and then it doesn't help anymore, and then you move on to the next one and you do the same thing. The medication was a good temporary fix, but as it wore off, things got worse. When she didn't know who I was, then there was really no going back. You know, then I really understood what this was doing to her. The disease not only hurt Jan, but also her caregiver. I had to stop visiting her. What we discovered was that I would work to help her recognize me and she might recognize the voice or maybe the face or we'd play the piano and we'd sing and things like that. And I thought, this is fabulous. I'm like getting through to her. And after I left, she became agitated for several days. It would like make her so angry. And we didn't know if she was aware of where she was, if she had become angry about the disease, if the effort of remembering me was so hard, it upset her. Peterson would still visit Jan, but behind closed doors, just to check on her. He says that this disease is heartbreaking for both the person suffering from the illness and those who suffer watching the illness. I don't want to be associated with Alzheimer's. I want it to go away. I mean, I can't believe I'm talking about it. But if you don't talk about it, then it doesn't help people who need help. And when I say people who need help, I get that people have Alzheimer's. I get that it's a terrible disease. I get that they're not going to survive, but the caregiver can survive. In Paris, I'm Shannon Satterley for WEIU Newswatch.